Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about how we can install desktop server so we can have multiple WordPress websites installed on our computer locally. So previously I talked about how we can install WAMP server and be able to install WordPress on our local computer. So today we will use desktop server. Well, the difference is basically by using desktop server, we will have a lot more features such as having multiple WordPress websites. We can easily be able to create a blueprint of one of the websites and then be able to duplicate copy and having as a base in installation. So in the future, when we add another website, we can just simply copy the base in installation and configuration. So all the theme, everything is pre pretty much installed and then we can build on top of that. So first, let's go ahead and see how we can install the desktop server. We can go to the internet and search for desktop server. And then we need to go to the serverpress.com. So here, as we can see, they have the free version of the application and the premium version. When we click on the premium, we can see the differences between the free version and the premium version. But for this video demonstration, we will go ahead and download the free download. So as we can see, the download has been finished. So let's go ahead, unzip the file and run the installation. Then we need to open the folder and then here we should be able to see the installation application. We can just simply double click, click continue and then we can click yes and then we can read the end user license agreement then click accept, click continue. So here, as we can see, the installation finished. Now, if you want to start the application, we need to go to the C drive and then ZAMP Lite folder. And then we should be able to see the desktop server executable file. We just need to double click and be able to start the application. Let's go ahead and click OK and then finish. So let's go to that directory. It was going to the C drive, this PC, C drive. And here we can see the folder, XAMP Lite. Let's double click. And if we scroll down, we should be able to see the desktop server. Let's double click. It is asking for our permission to start the application with the privilege mode. So we can say yes and then click next. The user account control window will pop up. We have to click yes. On this window, it is telling us that the database services are not currently running. So we can click yes, start Apache and MySQL services, click next. And then click allow access. So the service is running now, we can click next. So here on taskbar, we see here Windows security, let's click. And here for Apache, we have to say allow access. Alright, so on this window, we can see the installation has been finished and all the services are running. So now here it says, do you want to stop or restart the web and database services or if you want to create a new development website? Because we don't have any new development website created yet, that's why we see this remove, copy or move and existing website is grayed out. So now let's go ahead and create a new development website. Go ahead, click next. And here we can choose our domain name. And remember, this is locally installed. So no one can access this website from different location. This is only available on your local computer. If we used XAMPP or WAMP or any other local web servers in order to be able to access the website we have to type the local host or simply the computer ip address or simply local host and the port number but by using the desktop server we can also specify the domain name 
and be able to access it through the domain name and again as I mentioned this is just on local computer so we can type it anything I'm gonna type www.ptm.dev.cc so it has already .dev.cc and it says which WordPress you want to do the installation and what would be the directory for the website so when we install the WordPress in what directory we need to go in order to be able to access the WordPress contents so here we can see it will be the default directory will be C users the name of the user account you currently logged in documents websites folder and the name of the website let's go ahead and click create and let's go ahead and click next now in order to be able to access this is the actual address and again this is on your local computer so let's go ahead and click so here you can select your language and then go ahead and click continue here you can type your site title and then username and then here type your password of course for the live website we definitely want to use very strong password this is just for the video demonstration purposes I'm using 123456 for the password and we know that this website is only accessible using this computer confirm use of weak password and here typing your email address and then click install WordPress so here we can see WordPress has been installed we can click login so type your username here and your password here and click login and here as we can see this is our admin panel so here we are in the WordPress dashboard page there are some updates we can click updates and let's update the plugin so if we click updates it should be already up to date and if we to see the website we can click here this is our website and if we go back to the dashboard we can click appearance themes let's install 2017 activate and if we go back to our website refresh so as we can see now this theme has been activated successfully so going back to the dashboard this is our WordPress admin panel and just remember the next time we want to access this admin panel we need to type our domain name then we need to type wp-admin and then typing the username and password we should be able to access our admin panel now it's asking if we want to stop restart if we want to remove or copy existing website or if we want to create another website let's go ahead click close for now we can close this window and here also we can see the installation file shortcut here available we can double click for the next time if we want to start the program and you probably noticed every time when we double click it's asking for the privilege what we can do we can let's close let's close this window and go back to that directory it was in C XAMPP Lite and then right click desktop server properties go into the compatibility tab and then run this program as an administrator apply ok so the next time you double click it is already running the application under administrative privilege so we just need to accept the user account control page so click yes that's it ok let's go ahead and create a new one if we click on create a new website next so let's call it www for example this is the second website so here we can see the WordPress version and then the directory where it will install the website and then click create so it did create the website click next and here we can continue installing the WordPress for the second website let's go ahead click again here we can select our language click continue here typing the site title this is the second WP site username and password and then typing the email and then install WordPress and then we can log into our admin panel so now if you want to go to the previous website this was the address for the previous site ptm.dev.cc 
and this is the address for the second website second.dev.cc and remember these websites are locally installed so for example if you type www.second.dev.cc you can't see this website because this website has been installed on this computer only so now if we want to see the directories for these websites we can go to the document directory websites here we should be able to see all the websites this is for the second and this is for the ptm if we click here we can see our wp admin our wp content or includes inside wp content we can see the plugins themes and so on so for example if i open the application one more time desktop server let's double click yes so now if i click on sites i should be able to see all the websites currently i have installed be able to access the website going to the dashboard and the database if i want to modify the database so i believe with the free version we can have up to three websites if we want more than three websites then we have to purchase the premium version now let's say for the third website i want to create but using the existing website configuration we have to click on remove copy or move an existing website and then click next so here i have the option to choose from which website i want to copy or move or remove so let's say i want to copy this website and then build on top of that so selecting the website copy and then click copy and then what will be the new domain name and then of course the directory so we can type the domain name i'll leave it as is and then the default directory and then click next and then next and here we should be able to see the website let's go ahead and click and yes it is already done with the previous configuration but here we can see this is the new domain going back to the desktop server let's go ahead and click next again we have these options for now we can click close and let's log into the admin panel for this new website that we did copy from the payment tech media previously websites we created locally so we just need to add forward slash wp admin and then enter the username should be the same as the previous website because we just made a copy and this is the admin panel for this copy version of this payment tech media website let's go ahead and close this window and if i open desktop server again if I click on sites, I should be able to see the three websites. And here, as we can see, we are using the free version of the desktop server. We can upgrade to the premium edition if we want to have more than three WordPress websites running on our computer. So for example, if I go back to desktop server and then click create a new development website, next, typing the domain name, create, here we can see the message that we can only create up to three WordPress websites. So by using this application, we have the great opportunity to run WordPress on our computer and be able to test different themes, plugins, make all the changes, modifications, and then we can copy and transport our website from local computer to the live online hosting such as SiteGround, HostGator, TMD Hosting, GoDaddy, or any other web hosting companies. Well, this was an example of installing desktop server on your computer so you can have WordPress installed and be able to run multiple WordPress websites on your computer. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. And if you want to see more tech videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again and have a good day.